New releases have been dropping like crazy the past week, so let's spare the small talk and dive straight in. NYX Handmade Boots is doing a limited run of their 1964 leather in mahogany. At the moment, this is just a made-to-order offer on their classic work boot line. If you're familiar at all with NYX 1964 leather, it's a 7 to 8 ounce leather from Seidel, and it's basically a collaboration leather specifically for NYX. Now, I visited the NYX workshop about six months ago, and the story with this leather goes, there was basically an archival NYX boot from the early 60s, and the NYX team was looking at it and marveling at the leather specifically. It was supposedly the same or a very similar leather to what they were still getting with their work boots, but this leather on this boot was obviously softer and more supple. Now I guess over the years Seidel had kind of continued to change their tanning process, which makes sense. You keep up, you know, you keep refining the process and all that, but the resulting leather had become stiffer and not quite as supple as oil packed in the 50 or so years. So the Knicks team went to Seidel with their old archival boot and said, we want the leather like this again. As the Seidel team dug into their history books, they rediscovered how they'd been tanning leather back in the early 60s and that is how the NYX 1964 leather was made. So I might be missing some details because I'm kind of recanting a story I heard six months ago, but that's a general idea. Anyway, the 1964 leather from NYX, it's much easier to break in, uh, but it's still as hard wearing, still has all the durable qualities that you expect from a seven to eight ounce fetch down leather. Surprise! Truman has a new leather release and they're also teasing an upcoming leather that looks amazing. So right now you can get the 79 cap toe in the evergreen Chiaha leather from Seidel. This is another in the long list of green boots that have come out in the last three months. I think 2023 shall forever be known as the year of green boots. <laughs> now, <laughs> anyway, if you haven't got a, my chair just broke. If you haven't got a pair of green boots, this is your last chance because these might already be out of stock. So either Truman, they're not making enough or they're so popular, every new release they come out is snapped up on day one, these boots are almost out of stock. So if you missed the Evergreen Chiaha release, then stay tuned because Truman, they're also dropping a Wooly Bully Rough Out from SB Foot Tanning Company. This is a plain toe built on the 79 last with a Vibram Christie wedge sole. The only experience I have with SB Tanning Rough Out is their Slate Mule Skinner on the Red Wing Mock Toe. I love that leather, so I'm assuming the Wooly Bully leather is just as good quality. In fact, as I'm looking at it more now, I think this actually might just be the same Red Wing leather is they're calling Hawthorne Abilene. That's part of their summer 2023 lineup. I could be wrong on that, but in any case, both of these, they're a lighter cream rough out. You can expect this leather to age really, really well. Oak Street Bootmakers has been balling out lately and they dived completely into limited releases going after the high end. It's almost like they just hit a breaking point where they decided to make whatever the heck they wanted to. The latest release in this vein is the Lakeshore boot in their Minerva Licio leather from Baldassi. Dang it, man from Badalasi Carlo. This leather has a tight grain like calfskin, but one of its unique characteristics is that it continues to darken and develop something like a burnished effect in terms of the patina. So for aging, it behaves a little bit more like a natural undyed leather, but that's just the start to this boot. It has a full deerskin lining, which is bound to be super soft and supple. The upper's hand lasted, the broguing is freehand, and the welt is hand brushed, so it's gonna have a very bespoke look to the finished boot. This week's new boot releases, they're brought to you by the Heritage Newsletter by Boots By. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Heritage Newsletter by Boots By. It's a weekly email that covers all the latest updates, brands, and styles in the heritage style space. A lot like what we're doing here. So if you're interested in rugged casual clothes, high quality boots, or raw denim, then you're gonna love the Heritage Newsletter. It goes out every Thursday evening and it covers news stories from around the web that dive deep into the boot, denim, and heritage fashion culture. Two, amazing deals on great clothing brands like Taylor Stitch, Huckberry, and more. And three, you get outfit inspiration from top creators. My chair is now beyond repair. Thursday Boot Company continues their endless march of dominance with a completely new line of flannel shirts. Available now in 10 different color variations and patterns. I have no idea about the fit, but they certainly look really cool. And the shirts are just shy of $100. So if you're in a hurry to get your fall gear game in order, you can snag a few of these without going on a rice and beans budget. Thursday also released three new high top sneakers, but we all know that high top sneakers are just wannabe boots, so... Who cares? Foraying back into Viberg territory, the brand has released as part of their fall winter 2023 refined collection, three new leathers on their Bastion Oxford. The colors are fairly standard with tan, warm brown, and black. But like all Viberg boots and shoes, it's all about the details of the leather. This leather is the famous Vocalou Tannage from Perry Donnelly. Now it's a calfskin leather that I believe is tanned using escargot, croissants, and pencil mustaches. It's a very basic looking Oxford, but it sort of reminds me like a, a Pilsner style beer. There's nothing 
nothing flashy to hide behind. The details, they all gotta be perfect for this boot or the shoe to be exceptional. And if anyone can do it, it's Viberg. Taylor Stitch is back at it with a collaboration with my credit card company. The goal of this collection is to see if I finally hit my limit and begin a swift spiral into destitution. First up is the Fremont jacket, a fitted chore jacket in a three month washed selvage denim fabric. While I love the pocket placement and the overall style of this jacket, they're not gonna get me this time because I'm not personally that big on the wash. That said, it's only a matter of time before they come out with a Fremont jacket in an unwashed indigo, at which point I am definitely done. T-Stitch has also released their new maritime shirt jacket in three double-sided wool variations. This is a fantastic looking shirt, and they might actually make me cave. Huckberry launched a collab with Peter Middleton, the founder of the New York City urban western brand Wythe. Honestly, it's a huge drop. This is a big one. I can't even explain everything in it because there's 27 different items, but it's a mix of shirts, jackets, hats, boots, and pants, so the whole get up. The big standout item that I saw was the lambskin ranch jacket, but there's also some incredible looking Donegal corduroy jackets that are unlike anything else anyone's wearing out there at all. This is a really cool, interesting collection, and I'm stoked on Huckberry and Wythe for putting it together. Iron and Resin is based in Ventura, California, so they just found out that it's autumn in the rest of the Northern Hemisphere. They're a bit late to the game. They just released their fall 2023 collection, though to be fair, I believe the temperature in Ventura is still dude. Lots of cool flannel, wax canvas, and denim to find here, plus some awesome looking ball caps. Division Road is the best road. They've released this season's collaboration boots with Whites, and it's all about the rolled hand weld. Now, I also visited Whites six months ago. They're like 10 minutes away from Nick's, so obviously, had to hit JK2, the whole thing. So as far as I know, Whites is the only boot brand that does this kind of rolled hand weld. Now I watched the guy do the rolled weld and it looks like an incredibly labor intensive process. So it makes sense why you don't see it from any other brand that I know of. All I'll say is that this type of stitch down construction might not be long for the world. It's like a good your weld and stitch down in one. These new releases are the white semi dress in the brown wax flesh and a lace to toe 350 cutter in Horween cinnamon wax flesh with a Vibram 2060 wedge sole. Honestly, this 350 cutter is an insane boot. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this boot. I'm not going to get it myself, but I'm just glad it exists in the world. It's such a unique boot. Not only that, but Division Road has also released these fatty sweaters in a collab with DHEN 1920. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but these look rich and luxurious. Now there's a lot of sweaters out there that I'm sure you could spend $400 on, but these actually look like they're $400, which you know, honestly, that actually kind of seems hard to do to make a sweater look that expensive, but these guys do it. Hiroshi Kato is going full corduroy with their popular anvil jacket. Looks good, man. Looks good. Ironheart's making it possible to look like an old timey car dealer again with their Wabash work vests, so good on them. Plus, they're slinging out heavyweight flannels like it's nobody's business. Well, actually, it's 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 like literally their business, but they got these tasty looking red crazy check that I that just came out, and I'm sure there's gonna be more on the way throughout the rest of fall and into winter. I'm doing a new segment here at the end of these videos and in the Heritage Newsletter by Bootspy, so if you wanna be featured in these videos and in the weekly newsletter, post a Heritage Style inspired Instagram and tag at Bootspy Official. This week's featured Bootspy is at Dyson Ched. He's rocking a pair of Thursday Dukes in honey suede and a crispy dark brown overshirt. Looks good, man. To get the new boot drop every single week, make sure to join over 5,000 guys and subscribe to the Heritage Newsletter, the only newsletter dedicated to men's heritage fashion. Until next time, put your best boot forward.